This is the installation video for the Fordish Night Rail. What we have here is a two-part barrel system. Okay, patent pending, designed, engineered from the ground up, built, made here in the United States of America. So, what this does is you have a tapered side here that pushes out these fingers, um, or these tabs that give a 360 contact on the inside of this barrel or rail. So um, you have a tool here that comes with it. Uh, what you want to do is you want to, when you slide that on, make sure that is seated perfectly in there. You want to go from the back forward like that. All three teeth contact in within the flutes. You also have these pins. You have two of them. Uh, this I will show you how to use them, but what you want to do is you, you're going to put them in these holes flat side in There's a round side flat side put the flat side in all the way in make sure they're all the way in before you turn it Okay, and what that does is tighten the barrel nut within this outer barrel nut All right, so Make sure that your threads are nice and greased. Uh, I use a molly grease here uh, it Just makes it simple I recommend you snug in this barrel net as well and what I mean by that is that you want to tighten and loosen this thing and you want to do that about three times. Um, I've already done it a few times so I'm just going to go ahead and, just go ahead and snug it down for the installation. Go ahead and slap this bad boy on. Perfect, money. Right here. And you flip this over. And this is when the pins come into play. Um, basically, you tighten that, put it in the hole, tighten it. Here's a pro tip from SF Fortis. Uh, what we have here is the barrel nut um, and with two pins. I recommend taping a portion of the pin. That way when you when you tighten it you don't hit the rail. And it also gives you a limited depth so you don't scratch the barrel when you insert these pins um, all the way. As you do that, just place this here. And you can that's loosening, but there you go. You don't hit you don't damage anything. It comes preset from the factory at a certain depth and it gives, you probably going to tighten it less than this because it will be further in. Make sure you keep checking the top rail there. Make sure the, the rails align or the patini from the upper to the rail itself. And you just keep doing this until you feel a little snug. Just like that. Then you put this one up here, this one over here give you a little more leverage because it does get does tighten um, we recommend highly recommend that you do not put uh, extend these pins in any way um, two pins two hands is all you need and you do it till it gets really tight Good. And there you have it. Our barrel nut. Hope this helped. If you have any questions, uh, email us at info at fortismanufacturing.com or you can give us a call. Thank you. Just wanted to make this video to further expand upon how to properly use this wrench onto this night series rail barrel nut. So basically what you want to do uh, is pay attention that this says 
only in a directional arrow. That means you can only use this tool in that direction. If you use it in the other, if you use it in the other direction, it'll bend. Um, you'll get this is a temporary tool, so you'll probably get about two uses out of it, uh, up to four if you use it properly. Uh, there we go. And so basically, how this goes on is that you put this on the back of the barrel nut like so, and you just move it forward. Okay. It should not fall off. You should be able to hold the barrel nut up like that. Um, it shouldn't go any further forward. As you can see, it stops right there. Okay. If you put this tool on improperly, that means basically you're putting two teeth in and one tooth out in the middle. What you're going to do is you're gonna, it's going to slip completely off. It won't even stay on. And you will damage this barrel nut and the wrench. Okay. Okay, so the next video is going to be how to install it onto your upper. Okay, in this video we're going to talk about proper tool alignment and what tools you need. So, what you'll need first is our tool that comes with the kit. As you can see, make sure you pay attention to the directional arrow only how to use this tool. It's also on the back side as well or front side of our perspective is. So this is our torque wrench. Um, I have this set to 45. Uh, as you can see that, it's not that great of a torque wrench. It's just a Tecton. So works great though, works great for me. And I have a breaker bar. And so what I'm gonna use this for the, the uh, torque wrench is to get this barrel nut to a minimum of 45. And so this, barrel nut needs to be timed and so like we like I said in the previous video you want to just go ahead and put this on the back of it on the back of the barrel nut and slide it forward and it should not slide any more forward if it's on correctly you want to take your torque wrench uh, just go ahead and slip it in there this is a half inch and so just take it and turn until you hear the that that's what you want to listen for that's when you know you hit the 45 that you set it to and so with that take that off and if it's not aligned you can see I got a little ways to go uh, I got one of these almost in the center of that gas tube entry right there so I go ahead and put it on a breaker bar um, you want to go ahead and set it on there again like so and go ahead and pull this thing down as you can see, the alignment of my tool is straight. I don't have any extensions on this or the torque wrench. You want to make sure you have zero extensions on there. That's very important. Because what, what we've seen so far is people that put these uh, extensions on there, like uh, three and six inches, what ends up happening is this tool ends up twisting like so and bending. And that's uh, because of that extension, because you're putting all the pressure from out here, uh, say six inches out, and it's causing this to turn and buckle a little bit. So what you want to do is proper tool length uh, alignment. You go ahead and you can see I'm a little centered because I want to be in the middle of that and you just turn it until you get there. And there you go. Properly aligned. 